Hi everyone, today we are going to talk about the rank function. Rank function is very easy actually, okay? But here we want to uh, figure it out is what would be happened if we're using the ascending rank, ascending rank or the descending rank. And what would be happened if there is a people who got the same mark? So what would Excel do if they have the same mark right here? Okay, so let's get started. So we call the value rank and we find a number so here the number is P3 because we want to find uh, the ranking of chain in the class so P3 REF is reference so we need to have a dollar sign right here so make sure if you don't know when to use the dollar sign just check out the video of the dollar sign in our channel and we will explain to you quite uh, easily in that video and uh, detailing that video so we are not going to talk right here but we do need a dollar sign for selected range of the rank that we want to compare to okay so the order right here order you have a descending and ascending order so let us choose descending first so we type zero and see what will happen so it is two all right so drag it down the column all right, for the uh, dollar sign added, the range will not be changed. But if it's not added, uh, the cell will be changed. Okay, so it works perfectly to, to reference the uh, cell on the right of this cell. Okay, so you will see that the descending order will be from the greatest number to the smallest number. To the greatest number will be ranking first and second and third. Oh, so you see that there is no third, right? That's only fourth. So where is the third? It's because that we have two values right here the same that contains the rank of two. So in this case, if the value is uh, same, then the Excel will only have the second value, which is two, and they will miss out the third rank. All right, so there in this case, because the second rank people is 90 marks, then they have the equal marks. So the third rank people will be the fourth rank. All right. So if we change it to like 91, make it to be 2 and make it to be 3, all the things work just the same. So 1 rank the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and so on. All right. So similarly, let's do it again. Rank B3 for the reference is B3, I'll make B3 to B11. So compare B3 uh, from the B3 to B11 reference. And the order this time we choose ascending A1. Okay, so the ascending order right here is that the order, the first one will be the smallest number. All right. So you can choose either to use descending order or ascending order according to your needs, right? So it is quite simple and quite easy. If you don't know uh, the dollar sign, remember to check out our video that we have one video talking about the function of the dollar sign. So I uh, hope you will give us a thumbs up if you find it useful. And remember to subscribe our YouTube channel for more Excel videos, tutorials. Thanks for watching.